ethnically diverse Kazakhstan is home to 18 religious denominations. And in September, it opens its doors for a global interfaith dialogue. Its capital, Astana, hosted the 7th Congress of Leaders of World and Traditional Religions. Delegates from more than 50 countries came together, urging for peace and consolidation around the world. The efforts of world leaders, the efforts of international organisations are not enough to overcome the challenges that humanity is facing. And the voice of spiritual leaders who have great authority among the world's population called for the joint overcoming of all the challenges. This is very important. Islam, Judaism, Christianity and Hinduism, as well as other world religions, were represented at the Congress. This year, Pope Francis, as well as the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmed Al-Tayyab, were among the renowned guests. The image of leaders of so many world religions sitting together around a table sends a strong message of unity in diversity to the world. The main result is that we are sitting together, we are speaking together, and we are understanding that to find solutions for the problems in the world is not during the war, but sitting together and speaking. One of the goals of the Congress is to reintroduce the language of reconciliation and peace to a world shattered by conflict and tragedy. It also strives to put religion in the spotlight as a tool to help defuse confrontations. The perfect platform to go instead of going to a world divided by blocks that are antagonistic, civilization wants to build bridges of understanding and respect. So today, this uh, understanding of all living together is more important than ever. The final declaration of the Congress calls upon world leaders to abandon all aggressive and destructive rhetoric, which leads to destabilization in the world. It demands a cease from conflict and bloodshed in all corners. It says that extremism, radicalism, terrorism and all other forms of violence have nothing to do with authentic religion and must be rejected. It should be noted with regret that some political circles use religion as a means to achieve their goals. Moreover, today we can see other religious figures who call for confrontation and war. Everyone should know and see this, and we must fight together against it. Participants of the Congress planted trees in the new Peace and Harmony Park in the capital of Kazakhstan. This ceremony is a symbol of hope for the interfaith dialogue to grow and bring about change, to unite different communities across the globe, and to inspire people to join their efforts in the name of peace. We talk about global peace, but I would say those steps begin at the local level. They begin in every small town where Christians and Muslims, perhaps together they seek to feed the hungry. And we're no longer looking at our differences, but we are recognizing our common concern for those who struggle or suffer. The participants of the Congress hope that their appeal for global dialogue, reconciliation and peace based on common values of humanity, shared by all religions, is heard across the globe.